this is Ann from ducttapeanddenim.com and today we are going to make snowflake ornaments out of yardsticks. Okay, the supplies that you're going to need is a yardstick. We're using old yardsticks that we found at thrift stores and antique stores. You're going to need a saw or something to cut this with, which I don't have here. A drill with a little tiny drill bit. Some wire. Um, some kind of glue. I'm going to suggest E6000, but you could also use like a craft glue or a wood glue or um, hot glue. Hot glue wouldn't work as well, but you could use it if that's all you had. And then some little embellishments. We're using the snowflake and the little star that are both available in our online shop. And the wire is available there too. Ducttapeanddenim.com slash supplies. And then we are going to use some different kind of paint. I'm using several just regular craft acrylic craft paint and then to layer on top of that and to kind of highlight the yardstick we're using some glitter paint. We're using galaxy glitter which is very chunky and then we're using glamour dust which is a really fine glitter. Okay so to start with you're going to cut the yardstick into two inch pieces. Glenn did that for me over in his shop. So I have a stack here of little yardstick pieces. And I don't know if you can tell, but I have already drilled holes in the top, one in each corner. And I'll show you how to do that with my little Dremel. that and then I'm going to take some of the galaxy glitter paint around the edge you can put as much or as little as you want on here And when it dries, you're going to be able to see through it. It's not, it's, the paint part is translucent, and all you're going to see is the glitter. So you could paint this over something that was already painted a different color, and you're still going to be able to see the color underneath it. Okay. So there you go. That's painted, and it's got the holes, but I'm going to sit it over here and let it dry. Pick up this one that's already dry and already has the holes in it cut off a piece of wire. So stick it in there and then I'm going to bend it straight up on the back so it's an L shape going through it sticking out straight in the front. Same thing with the other side so that the back they're both coming straight up and the front they're coming straight out. Then I'm going to take my round nose pliers and I'm just going to start turning this and make a little spiral. And then push that spiral flat to the surface. It's just kind of adding another another little design on there. So there you go. Then I'm going to take one of my snowflakes and first I'm going to paint just paint the plain paint on it. You can make it solid or you can dry brush it, whatever you want it to look like. And I just thought this turquoise color just kind of stood out better than the other colors. Set that aside and let it dry. I did some samples in different colors and this one is my favorite so that's probably what I'm going to do most of them as. It is aqua sky as the background and then I did 
I, after it dried, I did a layer of the, glam, the uh, Galaxy Glitter on top of it. This one was a white, and I, as you can tell, I didn't do it solid. I did just kind of a dry brush and with the Galaxy Glitter over it. And then this one, I did the green paint. This is Irish Moss. Just again, try, kind of dry brushed it and the green Galaxy Glitter, which is actually called Limelight. This is another one of my favorites, which was the Aqua Sky paint with the green glamour dust over it. And all of these glitter paints are really fun to use because they're translucent, except for the glitter. So whatever color you put under it is gonna show through. So this one has paint and the glamour dust on it. But you could just take the thicker glitter and paint right over it. And see, it doesn't change the color. It's just gonna add glitter to it. So you're still gonna be able to see the glitter, I mean the color. It just kind of catches the light. Okay, so we'll let that dry. Now I'm gonna take this one. This one has already dried. That is the Aqua Sky with the Limelight Glamour Dust on top. So you see a little bit of the green, but mostly you see the aqua. Then I'm gonna add E6000 on the back. Doesn't take too much, because these snowflakes are really lightweight. Kind of pick off some of the little strings and then offset it a little bit because I don't want it straight in the middle because I don't like to look things straight. <laughs> there you go. Just let that all dry and there's your ornament. Thanks for watching how to make the snowflake Christmas ornaments out of yardsticks and please subscribe to our channel. Thanks.